Good Monday morning, everybody. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with our latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining me. If you'd like to see something on here, weather, science related, something like that, please let me know. Best way to do that is the email address at the top of the screen at austin.onik at wreg.com. Please send me the information because my psychic powers are slightly below par, so not able to get everything out there. So an email would be a very good idea. What we do here is try to get you updated on what's going on with the weather. May have gotten a brand new computer for the holidays and tuning in to find out what the weather's going to be doing. And as of right now, it's going to be very mild out there. Forecast in the red bar down toward the bottom section of your screen, 70s. As we go into today for highs, that's about 20 degrees above normal for this time of the year. Showers for today, a lot of cloud cover out there with a gray icon there, and thunderstorms into the rest of the evening. Could be some severe weather out there as we get into tonight. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. And temperatures will be a little bit cooler as we go into the evening hours as a new cold front starts to make its way into the Mid-South. More on that coming up in just a little bit. Let's take a look and see what's going on out across the Mid-South where it comes to earthquakes. Not a lot taking place on the New Madrid fault line in the last 24 hours. USGS, more information on that at earthquakes.usgs.gov or from the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the University of Memphis. Airport delays this morning. So far, not much of a problem with light rain and gusty winds at Memphis International Airport. We are seeing again some fairly calm conditions out there uh, where it comes to anything involving storms and a little bit more sunshine out across the Mid-South. We are seeing some delays of about 15 to 30 minutes around Minneapolis and that appears to be increasing. That is early during the morning. More information go to fly.faa.gov if you'd like to see more about what's going on out there where it comes to anything involving airport delays. Cough temp decks are exclusive and very tongue-in-cheek. Coffee temperature beverage recommendation index is going to be a very warm one for today something we don't often say during the early portions of the holiday season and as of right now maybe an iced coffee would be a very good idea but once again your beverage your temperature choice your business so if you get a brain freeze or burn your lips that's your particular problem because you didn't take enough precautions not ours 20 percent chance of a few showers maybe a rumble of thunder today clouds across much of the mid-south and looking at numbers rising into the upper 60s to around the lower 70s for the rest of the day chances of showers and thunderstorms will increase later on this afternoon and winds will be breezy today out of the south-southwest at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So looking at some very windy conditions out there. Beautiful sunrise, kind of hazy at Purchase Knob in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park area just in North Carolina and East Tennessee. Beautiful shot there. Very much on the mild side, a little bit of sunshine at Heidelberg Elementary in Clarksdale, Mississippi with some wet roadways after some fog. Some sunshine starting to get their, its way into Germantown between there and around the area of East Memphis and a little bit hazy and some drizzle on the camera lens. Few people out trying out those new golf clubs from Christmas at Windyke Country Club in Memphis, in southeast Memphis. Lots of sunshine, beautiful morning at Oxford, Mississippi on the Ole Miss campus and at Power Center Academy. Hardly anybody to be seen on Winchester Road on the left-hand side of your screen and some sunshine filtering into the area around Power Center Academy. Olive Branch from City Hall camera from former Mayor Sam Reichert's webcam on the Weather Underground system showing the clouds breaking up by just a little bit. Almanac, no rainfall officially yesterday. We're ahead for the month by over an inch point seven and ahead for the year by just over eight inches, so doing very good on the rainfall out there. Temperatures in the Mid-South way above normal. 54 was our low. 50 is our typical high. 80 our record high set back in 2015. 68 degrees was the high temperature yesterday. So looking at some very mild conditions out there. To the day today, showers developing mainly west of the Mississippi River, although some isolated activity in northwest Mississippi and parts of West Tennessee along the River Valley could be a bit of a concern. So windshield wipers and umbrella may want to keep that out there as well. Rest of the afternoon afternoon showers developing to our west and as we get into later on this evening we see the possibility of a new cold front making its way into the area and that could begin to give us a more powerful possibility of showers and thunderstorms out there but much of what we're looking at right now will be again later on this front is not expected to be again any great huge moving uh, very fast type of storm system so we'll be watching for that back to our west and then moving into and through the Mid-South by the time we hit News Channel 3 at 10. Tomorrow morning, we start to see again those 
areas of the clouds make their way off to the west and then winds start to make their way back out of the north behind that cold front moving on through. So we will be looking at some breezier conditions out there as we go into early tomorrow. Rest of the forecast, a little bit cooler tomorrow as we get into Tuesday afternoon, mid to upper 40s to lower 50s, very close to where we should be, but dry chances of rainfall gone from the area briefly, but it will be back again as we go into Wednesday. Rest of the day today, lower 70s with showers and thunderstorms developing, especially this afternoon into this evening. Lower 50s as we go into Tuesday, very close to normal for this time of the year with showers and thunderstorms ending during the morning, partly cloudy into the evening hours. Cloudy with showers developing across the area on Wednesday. Temperatures again above normal in the 60s, back to normal Thursday and Friday, upper 40s to lower 50s. With clearing out by Friday, so a little bit more sunshine there. And then by New Year's Eve, unfortunately, showers and maybe a few thunderstorms and rain may linger into New Year's Day 2017 with temperatures well above normal, no frozen precipitation expected, and doubtful we're going to be seeing too much of anything in the way of frozen precip anytime soon if everything holds out there. Weather where the troops are, if you have a relative serving around Iraq, temperatures in the 60s around Basra and 50s throughout the rest of the country. Looking into the Persian Gulf, temperatures around 80 in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, 70s around Bahrain, 60s in Kuwait and Doha in Qatar, and then temperatures a bit on the brisk side around Kabul, 47 degrees, rain reported around Faizabad, 51 degrees, 60s around Herat, 58 degrees around Kandahar just after sunset, and the Korean Peninsula from the DMZ south back in the upper 30s to lower 40s with rain from Chuncheon to Taegu and Pusan. Not much going on except clouds in Seoul and Kunsan. Got any place you'd like us to feature? Let me know and we'll feature them on weather where the troops are. Thanks to Deborah J54 for a stormy sunrise this morning from a Assumedly around Humboldt, Tennessee, if I'm not mistaken. Send it along at Aonic underscore WREG3. Check out the fourth Bob and Josh on Talkback Live on AM730 Yahoo Sports Radio, Monday through Friday from 6 to 9 a.m. And get the weather app from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. Go to your particular app store and search WREG Weather. Rest of the day, again, very much on the mild side. Early this morning, showers across parts of the area and not seeing, again, too much in the way of major problems. We are looking at some thunderstorms developing into around portions of central Arkansas, just north of Little Rock as the time we record this, and this could be a bit of a problem into the rest of the day for the area, especially tonight, and there is that marginal threat of severe weather for parts of the area, especially and including northeast Arkansas, so what we're going to be looking for is the potential of the stronger storms to be happening into around eastern Arkansas, the Missouri Boot Hill, and back into a portion of west Tennessee, including the metro area. This is not a huge risk of severe weather, but is where the more active thunderstorms will be later on tonight. So that's something you're going to want to keep an eye on and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 either on air or online, wreg.com slash weather for more information there. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. Thanks for joining me for our exclusive video weather blog update for Monday morning called Weather Overtime. Got anything you want to see on here? Again, let me know. Austin.onik at wreg.com and more weather throughout the day with yours truly and with Jim Jaggers later tonight. Thanks for joining me.